Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can generate auxiliary views in the drafting workbench in KTW5. So to explain this auxiliary views tool, I'm going to open up a file, a part file and uh, then I'm going to open up the drafting workbench. So I'm going to set some standard for this. So the drafting workbench is open and you can always su switch back to the uh, uh, bucket.cat part by this window option over here. You can switch back like this. So this tool is used to generate an auxiliary view by projecting lines normal to the specified edge of an existing view. So basically there are two ways you can invoke this particular tool in the drafting workbench. One is by going to insert views projections and then auxiliary. So to do this auxiliary you can see that the auxiliary option is frozen. This is frozen because you are as I said you are creating projected lines with an existing view. So you need an existing view for working with the uh, what do you call the auxiliary view. So let me just explain the other way of invoking the uh, auxiliary view that is go to the view toolbar and on the projection drop down you can find the auxiliary view. So these are the two ways you can invoke the auxiliary view. You can take any of them according to your preference. So here now I'm going to insert a view. So front view and I'm going to show the software that this view is going to act as my friend view and I'm going to place it somewhere uh, over here and then I am going to create an auxiliary view for this so how can you create an auxiliary view to generate an auxiliary view choose the auxiliary view tool from the projection drop down in the views toolbar will be prompted to select the start point or a linear edge to define the orientation. So I'm going to auxiliary view. You can see it's active and once you're done with that you are supposed to select an edge or a line with two endpoints which is going to define with respect to what you need to create the auxiliary view. So I'm going to simply create a line and then you can see the auxiliary view of this particular part being created. <coughs> you can either create in this way by creating a line or else you can uh, select an inclined edge that is normal to which you need to place the view. So I'm going to delete this view for now. And I'm going to auxiliary view once again. So this time I'm going to invoke using the toolbar, views toolbar. Now this time I'm selecting the edge that is inclined to the inclined edge that is normal to which you need to place the view. So this edge is being selected. Now I'm supposed to place it wherever I want because this is the distance with respect to which the distance that you are supposed to keep it away from your drawing. Now I'm placing it here. So the auxiliary view is being created in this manner also. So this is about the creation of auxiliary views in the drafting workbench in Kitsiavi 5. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you uh, follow my video any doubts clarifications you can comment just below my video and i'm going to get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching